The water from one outlet flowing at a constant rate can fill a swimming pool in nine hours. The water from a second outlet flowing at a constant rate can fill the same pool in five hours. If both outlets are used at the same time, approximately what is the number of hours to fill the pool? So here it's very important in any kind of work problem like this or filling anything, we need to compare rates. We can't add or subtract times, we need to add rates. So first of all, we'll think about the rates. And of course, rate would be the amount of stuff here, a pool over time. So rate number one, we fill one pool in nine hours. So we can represent that as one ninth. The other rate, rate two, we fill one pool in five hours. So we can represent that as one fifth. So these are the rates. So the total rate is going to be the sum of the individual rates. Now, if all this stuff about rates and how to handle rates is something really confusing to you, I'd highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh has over 200 lesson videos teaching you all the, the content you need as well as all the strategy you need for everything on the GMAT. And we have lessons that will help you handle all these word problems, including rate problems. So continuing, what we're going to do here is we're going to add one ninth plus one fifth. And of course, the way we do that is to find a common denominator. I'm going to multiply the nine by five over five. I'm going to multiply the one fifth by nine over nine. And of course, the reason I'm allowed to multiply it by factors like this, five over five or nine over nine, these are factors that equal one. So they don't actually change the value of the fraction. They just change its form. So what we have is five over 45 plus 9 over 45. Adding those together, we get 5 plus 9 over 45, which of course is 14 over 45. And this is the new rate. So this would tell us we could fill 14 pools in 45 hours, but we'd like to know how long it will take to fill one pool. So of course, one way to think about it is amount equals rate times time. We want to fill one pool at a rate of 14 over 45. So we're just going to multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction, and t is going to equal 45 over 14. Now notice that 42, time, 42 is 14 times 3. So 42 over 14 equals 3 exactly. So 45 over 3 is going to be something just over 3, and this is answer choice D.